If you're ready to experience more peace and joy in your life, if you want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, and if you're ready to discover and expand on your energetic gifts and personal power, you're in the right place. So here's your host, Kelly Sparta. Hello and welcome to Spirit Guides Thursday Thoughts. This is the place where you will get to hear snippets of conversations I've had with people over the years and get a variety of thoughts for you to consider for today. Enjoy! Are there different types of guides that are out there? There are, you know, there are guides that are with you for a specific purpose and then there are guides that are with you for your whole life. Mm-hmm. There are, are spirit family guides, people that you you travel into different lifetimes with who decided, you know, somebody decides to stay back and, you know, hold the hold down the fort on the other side while everybody else goes and plays in the pool. And and they're serving as sort of the lifeguard. Yeah. So sometimes there's that. You have to keep in mind though that your guides some of them have never been incarnated. So when you have guides that have never been incarnated, you have to be very clear with them and you have to be conscious because what happens is that you end up in a situation where they don't realize that you have to do things like sleep, (laughs) eat, pay your bills, you know, things like that. Yeah. And so one of the things that happens as we go through this process, especially if we're on the express train, if I, I haven't told the story yet about the express express train, have I? I don't think so. Okay. I'll, I'll tell that in a minute. But especially if you're on the express train, you really have to pay attention to how much they're downloading at once because they will actually teach you things in your sleep. Mm-hmm. And then you end up getting exhausted because you're actually working in your sleep. People don't realize that they can just ask for a night off or a week off or a month off from the education. Right. And that they should, in fact. They're like, you know, I see this a lot with beginners that gets all stuck in the, well, I'm behind and I'm supposed to be and da, da, da. it's like, you know what, if you're going to blow up, you're going to lose a lot of time, right. you're better off to take a couple days off or a week <laughs> off and get a full night's sleep and come back to it fresh and, and be ready to go than to allow yourself to get to the point where you hit a complete meltdown in your puddle on the floor and you don't have any way to pick yourself up and you're you lose a month right. because you're toast. Right. And that's similar to the, what you talked to us about when you were telling us about growing your channel to receive energy. You got to do it in the right, the right timing. You yeah. can't do everything at once. Yeah. There's, there's good self care is super important. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, the people with the deepest containers often have crappy self care. <laughs> so, you know, that's, that's part of the process too. What is a spirit family? So a spirit family is people that you reincarnate with over and over again. And so, you know, one day I'll be your mom. Next day I'll be your sister. Next day I'll be your lover. Not day, but life. Right. right? (laughs) Because that would be a weird, weird week. That would be a very weird week. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Next life I will be your brother or your lover or your sister or your mother or your child or your whatever. Uh, Best friend, you know, whatever. So we will incarnate with each other in various and sundry formats. So it's it's basically a similar we we referenced D&D earlier right. in the episode last time and uh you know it's the same idea you're going into a role playing game with the same people right. over same and over thing. again you're just playing different characters, That's right? That's very cool. So spirit family is is sort of that that collection of people and you you had mentioned that sometimes so we incarnate with them over and over again they're the same players but in sometimes in a D&D reference Some of them may stay back and be the the game master. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. And, you know, some of them may play the villain. Mm -hmm. Right. Because uh, part of this journey we're on and coming back and doing the work that we're doing over time is not always to um, the the people we meet who are our nemesis. I, th- I'm, I'm, I don't know if that's the, the plural, but I'm making it the plural. Yes. <laughs> Our nemesis. They're also important in the journey and the work that we're doing. Yeah. 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 In fact, you know, if you watch Sherlock, mm-hmm. uh, you know, Moriarty defines Sherlock in a lot of ways. And that's the same concept for us. The people that we fight against often define us more than the people who support us. In any good work of literature... Your hero cannot be a hero without a villain. So we need balance. 
in in anything to keep our interest. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that's relevant here, but it just sort of struck me. Yeah, we are on the ultimate hero journey. Yeah. Hero's journey here. And, I mean, sometimes your spirit family is just somebody who you meet in passing who creates a pivot point. You know, mm-hmm. you look back and you go, this one person said this one thing to me at this one place, and I never saw them again, but it completely changed the way I saw everything in that moment. Yeah. There was an agreement in place before you came into this life for them to be there and to say that at that time. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that moment where you have that, ooh, you, you meet somebody and you're like, ah, yeah, right? There's that ooh moment, and that's somebody you have incarnated with before. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of questions about spirit guides over the years. Um, mostly, how do I talk to them? Is really, really what it is. Exactly. You know, they're like, I don't know when to tell, you know, how to tell if they're talking to me or whatever, right? And the answer is that, that oftentimes your spirit guide sounds like you're talking to yourself in your head. And so, you know, test it out. See if doing what that thing says, assuming it's not violent or you know, dangerous is a good idea, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, test it out and see, see what happens, right? Uh, the other thing that we can do is we can practice with our guides. So you can just sit down and invite your guides to, to communicate with you and you can say, okay, get my attention physically. Mm hmm. And then just sit and wait and see what happens. Maybe your ear itches. Maybe Mm -hmm. your nose itches. Maybe your eye twitches. Maybe you get a shooting pain down your thigh. You know, who knows? But that's, that's how they're going to get your attention. Maybe, and then say, okay, well, get my attention through sound. And maybe you'll hear something in your head or out loud. That freaks you out. But, you know, (laughs) I know people who hear it out loud. Um, Maybe you will and then say, okay, get my attention visually. And, you know, maybe you'll see something flit in the corner of your eye or, you know, whatever. Or you'll close your eyes and you'll see something and in your mind's eye sort of thing. And you just go through the senses and give them an opportunity to show you how they're trying to get in touch with you. Mm -hmm. And then just note that and get more present in your life and more conscious in your life. And then you'll start to hear them better. Yep. And that's it for this week's Thursday Thoughts. Join us tomorrow for the Ascend Day on the Spirit Guides podcast. So that's it for today's episode of Spirit Guides podcast. Head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen and subscribe to the show. Every week, one lucky listener who subscribes and posts a review on iTunes will be entered into a drawing for a $10,000 value grand prize and a private reading with Kelly Sparta herself. Be sure to head on over to spiritguidespodcast.com and pick up a free copy of Kelly's gift and join us on the next episode. Show of the sun.